And so these butterflies fly to Mexico, spend the winter there, they come back, they lay their eggs. When they fly back from their overwintering site in Mexico, they fly due north. And one of the things that I always correlated with this that seemed to me to be very significant is that the 21st of March is the equinox. That is when they're 12 hours day and 12 hours night on the entire world. That's when monarchs leave Mexico. And as they do so, they fly due north into Texas, most of them. They lay their eggs and the new generation is produced. After they've bred in Texas, they fly north. But they don't fly due north, they fly northeast. And I had this idea that went on like a light bulb one day that maybe monarchs are migrating throughout all generations and that they're just changing the orientation, go north on the equinox in the spring, and as every day clicks by, they change their direction and migrate one degree further to the, to the east. Well, this gets them from their breeding area in the Gulf Coast states northeast into the Great Lakes region. The new generation that's produced in the Great Lakes region will now, according to my hypothesis, be migrating on June 21st uh, due east. And then as summer keeps going, they'll recolonize southeast area. And so as the course of the summer, according to this hypothesis, through several generations, the monarchs are migrating north, changing that orientation one degree per day. And if you think about this, by the 21st of September, which is the fall equinox, 180 degrees is 180 days, that is due south. Fly back to the overwintering site.